Spacious, and we went with the the dual doors. Obviously, it's got nice windows on each side. Never had a trailer that's so fresh. So fresh. Yeah. Thankfully, no carpet. If you know, you know. Carpet is for the week. All right, let's get it. Pretty high step, actually. Good man. Do you hear that, Gary? Today is a new day, but I am going to continue to vlog. Much sunnier day than the last time, the last clip that I had. Me and my husband are going on a trail ride tomorrow. Uh, it's a little bit far away. Now that the weather's nice, I thought it'd be good to go out somewhere. And. So we're going to have to pack some stuff up. So I got some things for the new trailer that I never could have in my old trailer because it didn't have a tack room in it. Um, but I got some Velcro strips the other day uh, just to put my sports boots on. I put it up the other day just to kind of care for 24 hours anyway. So it's up there. Now I use jerry cans for water when we're traveling so i did get a couple of these so we can keep them in here to bring with us and then with all this empty space on the door i got a mirror because i thought of all things it would be nice to be able to see what you look like before you get heat and shit and stuff but anywho and then worst 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 of all so this trailer is brand spanking new hasn't hauled a horse yet in it at all but I took it to get hay yesterday because my little utility trailer is getting wiring redone in it. And somehow, first trip this trailer has ever gone on, I got a giant screw in it. I can't even make it up, honestly. We're patching it. And then if it blows, we're going to put spare on it. But we're going to get the shavings out of here that's been in here. And then I'm going to have to sweep out all the hay and put some shavings in the actual horse area. And then load up some tech. I don't know which ones I'm going to use yet. I don't know what I'm going to wear, what kind of outfit I'm going to have. So I'm just bringing my favorites. So then I've got some options. Aside from all plain white leg boots, I'll use any leg boot, <laughs> like for practice, because they can be washed easily, but bell boots get ruined. So I only use particular ones. These are like, oh my God, maybe 12, 14 year old Canadian, Canadian horsewear. I don't know, it's worn off of each. I think the Canadian horsewear ones. Someone asked me in my comment section what brand this 
this was? My Dell pad? I have no idea. There's one tag on it and it's just got like a serial number. But I have absolutely no idea what brand it is, but it's cut to fit Rain's back. And then just a saddle pad for my husband's horse and then the one for mine. On each rack. I would love, love, love to put some kind of little rack thing. I'll try and make something maybe to hold my saddle pads because I like to just put the saddle by themselves in racks. to be but still gonna bring some cooler rugs for just in case because if it gets a little bit chilly and they get sweaty or wet from water or who knows we don't want them trailering home in the cold my horses do both travel in uh rope halters so i'm just gonna put them here just for put them here for easy access because we are gonna need them first thing in the morning and then last but not least, we are bringing a lunch line and a lunch whip because you never know and it's better to live on the safe side. Got my mirror all velcroed out. It's perfect. Thank you. 